one thing, we need more of this. See the coal is starting to flow up towards this, so we need to hook up our iron and uh, our upper. <laughs> True, Kobai. I'm not a speedrunner like you. You are much, much better at that. <laughs> Let's get some of these removed a bit. And let's get... Ooh, it fits in very nicely. It was so weird playing without squeak through and you actually have to move around all the things. There we are. That means we can hook up a belt right here now. To go this way. And you can just kind of hook up right here for now. So that should be automated um, iron smelting. <laughs> yeah, the horror of no squeak through. That, let's do the same over here. That's good. Let's hook up the power. Get things flowing very nicely. Of course you can, Konka. The blueprint bar is locked behind uh, behind this research. When you research construction robots, the first time you do it, it will unlock the blueprint bar. After that, you'll have it in uh, in every game going forward as a default. Um, there's also a command for it, where you can unlock it right away. Just search for a Factor Factorial shortcut bar, and then you can uh, get it unlocked right away. Of course, that will disable the achievement for the map you do it in. But other than that, there's no drawbacks to doing it. Let's see. Yeah, that seems fine. So iron flowing, that is moving. That means this is pretty much obsolete now. Let's do the same for our copper. And get this hooked up. Nice and... Quickly. So let's see. There and not there, maybe, maybe just right there instead. I need to have room for my belt status. If you please, that one, that one. So that is flowing. You can have you. Uh, that. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to trying the Spider-Tron. From what I understand, it's even able to walk across water, which I think is uh, is brilliant. At least up to, I think it's 14 tiles or something like that. It can it can cross off open water. So it's going to be very very good to try out all of those things. So in about a few hours, I'm guessing, we should be nearing the Spider-Tron and be able to uh, to do that. There is no boats. There is landfill, but, uh, but no boats. There's trains instead. So if you landfill below the train, you could pretty much say it's, it's a half a boat <laughs> or something like that. Let's see here. Let's just mark out how big this has to be. Firstly, let's take you and place you here. That looks like that marks incorrectly. That's eight. That's 16. 
that's going to be 32. So that means we have what's on 16 over here. That means we need eight more on this side to get it done. So if we do down here to 16, I think to right here maybe should be the last one. So this is pretty much the length this one has to be to completely build one yellow belt. Model unlocked early game. That shouldn't take that very long. We can probably somebody probably probably already made that. If I know the mod community uh, correct, they are insanely fast at things like this. Let's just hook you up at the correct length. Let's make sure it is forty-eight. We have here. We have. 48, that's perfect. That is the correct ratio. Now let's drag some belts down to here. Let's get you the other way. What's the best way to see live chat on PC? Are you talking about when I'm streaming or, uh, or what? Wait, by the way, I'm probably going to sound like a complete noob by saying this, but what does it Pagas mean? I've seen it so many places, but I'm not quite sure. And I've been afraid to ask for uh, for quite a while. So uh, please be kind to me if it's something I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I feel so old when I say things like that. Um, I guess the best place is just watching it right off, uh, off the stream. But if you click at the top right, what's it called, of, uh, of the chat, you can pop it out, I think. And then you can move it around in case you want it somewhere else on another screen or something like that. Ah, something cool. That is most definitely me. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's get that as a fast inserters. Let's get some lamps so you guys can see something and some stone walls. We'll play off the game. That's what it stands for. That's good. Coal is flowing. Or is good. Inserters are getting made. And uh, as soon as we have these two, two hooked up, We should be able to hook up the rest. Let's just make a ton of you to fix all of this. When I'm doing stuff like this. I really miss my robots. But it's, it's not too bad getting all of this hooked up. Let's get you fixed here. Let's get some more of you made. And can we almost have enough to fill it all in? That is what I'm hoping. Perfect. Get all of that put in. Let's get some more power poles. And let's get you there. Let's get all of this up and running. That should be good. Uh, science is going very well. At least as a temporary setup. Let's grab. Couldn't fear it dismantle all of this now. Just to free up the space and remember to clean up our base as we go. That's something I very much enjoy doing when something has served its purpose. That means all of you are going. That means we just need to hook up a bit of power here 
But we need to bring some gear wheels. Or at least hook it up as soon as uh, get it here. And I just remembered talking about gear wheels that there is something new I want to do that I haven't done in, I'm guessing, a year and a half almost, maybe even two years. And that is adding gear wheels to um, the main bus. And before you start yelling at me for why are you adding gears to the main bus, it is for that simple reason that uh, one gear wheel, gear wheel takes two iron. And if it takes two iron, that means we can do twice as much compression on a belt. Instead of using... Uh, using uh, two lanes of iron for one lane of uh, gears down the line. You can just use two lanes of iron at the top and then having gears at the bottom, meaning we can have uh, a lot more throughput without having to worry about it later down the line. So uh, so that's going to be fun and see how that's going to change all of our builds because uh, all of a sudden we don't need the uh, gear wheels being made further down the line. So uh, that's going to be something extremely fun to try. So stone walls done. Uh, let's get some bullet things. That is true. It's all in terms of compression that uh, I want to try and do it. And being able to skip. Well, not all items need that needs gears uh, needs iron, but it is pretty close. For example, uh, red science. It doesn't need iron, but it needs gears. So um, let's see if uh, if that will work. And it's uh, it's always fun trying something we haven't done in years, just to uh, to test it out. You're going as well. So let's hook all of this up to a main bus. At least plan out where it should be. Let's see here. Um, if we want to turn it, and we want to have room for four more belts this way at least. Oh, we want four columns of iron. We want four columns of copper. Copper will go that way. Iron will go to the right. And then maybe we want steel over here, and maybe stone or on the opposite side. So we just need to leave a bit of room for for those things. Um, and I might want to build on. I was built on the south side of this, so going out quite a bit. Will that be the best way to do it? Otherwise, we have to go up quite a bit to build anything this way to not interfere with the new columns that's going to go in. But also turn it the opposite way instead. Uh, if you just have one lane, it's quite easy. It's pretty much just doing that to split it into four lanes. Um, other than that, I will just make four lanes and then uh, do a build balancer as we go down the line. That is pretty much what uh, what I'm planning. But we might build on the north side of the bus instead then. So we'll do... Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. The reason why I'm doing four is because I can jump with undergrounds between them. Or and that's going to be iron. That's going to be copper. That's going to be gear, green circuit things, some steel. If I do ten of you, one, two, three, four, five, six, it means you'll have to hit all the way up there before I start to build above it. Oh, that's going to be a long, long ways away for, uh, for the iron. Put all drag the iron up here instead then, and the copper below it. So we build on the north side, and then have the rest on the south side. All the belts. Um, yeah, let's try that. I think that'll be easier, because if we build on the north side, that'll be fine. Ooh, that doesn't leave us a lot of room in terms of the water. That's a bit annoying. How we do this. We could solve it by turning all of this the opposite way. 
but uh, I don't really feel like doing that. Uh, the biters appear when I produce too much pollution. As you can see my pollution cloud right here. As soon as that touches the biter base, wherever they're at, they will start to attack. So hopefully they are a bit away back still. We don't have to worry about it. 10 might also be overkill for this. Uh, let's try this. Let's do one, two. Let's do it like this and get iron up here. Let's try this. This should give us enough room for what I want to build. And if everything else fails, we can always uh, add in some landfill for the lake. I think that'll be uh, completely fine. That's iron. Let's get you here. You can go to this one. And I want you to jump just like that. So the first thing I want to make, if I have to make it with a gear build, should probably be gears. And after gears, we should maybe make green circuits and then we'll make red and green signs. I think that'll be the way I do it. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Hopefully we have enough room for it. Can't see why not. So firstly, let's just get a few more of you. And let's just set up a temporary... Um... Oh, we're making gears here anyway, so there's no need to make a temporary one. So we want iron... One, two, three, four in. So we have to make gears around here, I think. Going this way. There. Will this work in terms of what I want to do? So then we'll split out iron right here. Going up this way. Then we'll take iron down this way. One, two, three. And get it up on this side as well. And have gear wheels coming out that way and jumping into the first lane down here. Yeah, I think that will be a, a way to do it. Um, it could end up that we'll do two dedicated uh, gear wheels lines in and then add in more smelters for, uh, for that. Or siphoning off all the excess back on the main bed, main bus. But uh, yeah, we'll 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 do that when we get to it. So there, 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 right yeah. Let's do some gear wheels. And then we just need to drag some power back here. Uh, one, two, three, four. So let's do it here for now. It's a place we can drag the power. I think you might be correct, Game Dave. Let's see. Oh. There we are. That's power for all of uh, the gears. I think that will be completely fine. That will go in, that will produce gears out. Here goes the iron. That should power these. This, this is going to need pretty much what's that going to be? Four seconds, two a second at crafting speed. Uh, this one. So here we have some gears that's going to be produced. That's going to go down the line right next to this. We'll add in, what's it called, a green science. Hey, wreck it, or wreck crew, wreck crew. <laughs> that is 
Great, so let's see here. That should be fine. Seems the water might be dissipating a bit as we go. So if you look at our green science, that will need some copper flowing in this way. Did you miss the belt to an assembler on purpose? Oh, I didn't. Thank you for that. That was just uh, <laughs> me not being uh, consistent in what I was doing. I have gears over here now. Let's just grab you. And let's set up. Chat always saves the day, Kobai. You know that as well from your speedruns. If you even have time to look at chat at that point. Here we'll do. So we'll do you and you. I think you'll look good like that. Something like this looks quite good. Might take a bit more room, but it should do the job. Three and there we go. Something like that should be fine. Into here. Needs three every half a second. This one produces two every half a second. So it needs one and a half machine to produce what it needs. That means something like this should get the job done. That will go out down here. Then we just need a bit of iron to flow in as well. We could in theory do it here to here with the iron. Or do it maybe like this, having you run here and having you jump these ways. So that's, that should output this, or oh, this should grab iron in. We'll then output the gears on the sides, or not the gears, the circuits on the sides to uh, get things going. Let's see, I want to take you out this way because we'll have two belts going in here. With this you'll merge like that that and then the opposite side over here and then we can jump or iron out this way yeah i think that will work very very nicely you'll go down this way you'll do the exact same thing and that should uh, very much hook this up in a very very orderly fashion Power and go here and here. Oh, that's actually one of the best power ways that the power balls have done before. That's going to be quite good. Up here, we'll probably need fast and surface. Might need that in between as well to move these things fast enough. That's powerful. You. Let's hook up the copper. You'll we'll have to split here, jump to there. And that's going to be the... Oh, fair enough, uh, Kung. Okay. Uh, if I'm still on when you get up tomorrow, do uh, jump in and say hi. <laughs> that might be the case. <laughs> that's that. Let's do a split here going this way doing a split it should do a little split right uh, there I think then jumping from you to you 
That should mean these should start now. Oh, we do need one thing though. We need the output. Oh, we have the output, never mind. There we are. That is green science automated. And that can go on a belt as well. I'm going to give us that. <laughs> yeah, you start to miss it quite quite quickly if you don't uh, keep up with it. Let's see. You can jump this way. You will go on the belt right here. Uh, that is correct. Maybe, even if we do fast and surface, we'll keep up if we do this. Then it should be the same input output ratio. Yeah, that seems to be working. Power still good. That is going to be that one. That's one that's going to go down. Yep. And we have a green circuits going this way. And let's do two lines of green circuits right here. I think that'll be fine. So here, there. <laughs> it's all about uh, finding uh, a good way to do it. For me, it's pretty much uh, the main bus build is uh, is my way of organizing it when I don't have robots. Yeah, I'll try one line of gears for now, because that pretty much consumes uh, two lines of iron when it's fully operating. And I think one will be enough. Uh, oh, wait. If not, we will... Uh... Wait, I did this wrong. It has to go down one. We'll have to add one in later somehow. But I think one might be enough for what we need to a rocket launch. And after that, we can... Uh... We can fix it so you can jump to here and you hook up here and you'll go to the one below and there we are that is going to be our things out that means we have pretty much pretty much what's it called uh, everything we need to uh, to get a lot of things going let's just copy this part. Flip it over here. Let's see if I can put it in correctly. I think this has to be about here. Wait, it has to be right here, I think. So we can get our um, iron flowing in correctly. So as soon as we make red and green science, we will then make our factory mall or industrial hall or whatever we want to call it. Let's just call it a mall for now. To make all of our building blocks. Open this wrong. Uh, we'll figure out when we do it. <laughs> I did, uh, did change the uh, what's called the way these are moved. So let's just go grab some of these. So now we have pretty much most of what we need to keep going. At least to craft all of the things without having to do all the intermediate products. Which is <laughs> very, very nice. So let's see here. It's uh, good. Two, three. Let's get some of you as well. Missing iron. I'll just grab that from my bus. And this is pretty much why I like the bus build, when we don't have robots. It's much easier to grab all the things you need uh, at a very, very leisurely pace, pace even. Oh, one thing that's going to annoy us a bit now is that we will need to jump this one to here. But will we have to split it out like this then to get it back? Not the most beautiful way to do it, but it should get it in like that. And this is now modular, expandable upwards. So if we need to double this, I'll just remove the trees and copy paste it. And then it should be good. 